What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 94 overall Summer Heat card Delaney. Now, I don't think anyone ever expected this card to be this good. Because this looks like, hands down, stats wise, one of the best midfielders that I've ever seen in any FIFA. It's just simple as that. He's got the 91 pace, the 93 dribbling, the 96 defending, the 95 physical, 91 passing, and the 86 shooting. It looks like, by just looking at the card, he can do literally everything. Now, I don't believe this is the first time they've done this. I believe they've done this multiple times. But they actually upgraded his skill moves and weak foot. This is what we want, EA. This is a huge, huge W for you guys, obviously. But at the same time, it's like, we want this consistently. If you keep upgrading it to like a 5 star week for even 5 star skill moves, no one's complaining. Trust me, no one. But the 4 star skill moves, the 5 star weak foot is what he has now. What he had previously was a 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot. Now he is, he is 6 foot which means he's got a beautiful interception reach and tackle reach, especially in that midfield. He has got high high work rate which is not too bad. If I put stay back or attacking on him, he majority of time he will stay back. But there will be that odd occasion where he'll just and he'll just make a run, which is not terrible. As long as he's staying back the majority of the time, I'm personally going to be fine with it. Now he is on a engine chem style. He is on 10 chem, 97 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. A midfielder that is six foot that has that kind of pace. You already know this guy is going to be absolutely insane. Now, shooting-wise, this is this is what I mean about this card being absolutely insane, by the way. He can literally, by looking at the stats, can literally do everything. There's always one weak spot to a side, to a side, to a card. But I'm looking at this card and I don't see one weak spot. The fact that he's even got the shooting ability in a CDM position, I'm just lost for words. He's got 88 attacking positioning, 84 finishing, 91 shot power with the 87 long shots as well. The guy can finish inside the box. The guy can take a long shot. You can pretty much do everything. But the moment of truth. Does he have any shooting traits? He does not. Big, big disappointment. But once again, it is what it is. Passing wise, he's got 96 vision, 87 crossing, 93 free kick accuracy, 99 short passing, 99 long passing and 87 curve. You know me. I love a midfielder that can pass those through balls down the line from one side of the pitch completely to the other. And I'm hoping it'll be consistent with this guy. He has got amazing dribbling stats for a six foot player. 95 agility, 99 balance, 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling and 97 composure. Two of those stats aren't 99. Like that is absolutely insane. The amount of times I've probably said insane in this video, I'm pretty sure you guys are getting tired of it. But hey, we continue. He's got 98 interceptions, 96 heading accuracy, 92 defensive awareness, 96 standing tackling, and 99 sliding tackling. And yes, I haven't made the same mistake that I did last time, right? That I put Anker Kemsa on. I can't remember who it was. I believe it was the right back, Danilo. There you go. I know a lot of you got kind of pissed off with that. So I said, okay, let me take a step back, avoid my anchor this time, and we'll put an engine on him. And we'll see how he feels in game. We'll see how good the defensive stats is. Because I don't believe yet. Yeah, I don't believe he needs it to be fair. The 92 defensive awareness should be more than enough. Standing tackling should be more than enough. And obviously the interceptions. Physical wise though. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. 97 aggression. 89 strength. 99 stamina. And 99 jumping. Now when it comes down to physicals. He's got it. He honestly has. I'm going to hope this guy gets into a lot of contact-to-contact -contact situations in-game because the majority of the time, he will be bodying off the player. Now, today, I have linked him up with Rio, Vieira, and Diaby. I've also got likes of Firmino, James, and Wijnaldum in this team. I will be using Delaney today in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that CDM role, but I will try him in a centre mid role because I know a lot of you play that 4-1-2-1-2 as well, so I will try him in a 4-4-2. But let's get into the games. Okay, so the moment of truth, does he actually feel like his stats says on the card? Yeah, he does. 100%, look at this. Oh my god, a, f a midfielder, especially a CDM that can move like that, that could be honestly top tier. I'm just going to give it a little press here. He seems insanely fast, like look at this, especially in the midfield. He see yeah. I can see where this is about to go. I can tell you that. Oh, that slide tackle. The fact that he actually got a little foot onto that surprised me because I really didn't believe he was going to get there. 
He's definitely a pressing CDM. Oh my god, that's such a good tackle as well. That's an auto tackle, by the way. I'm just holding LT there. And Delaney himself sees the perfect moment to just go in for the tackle. But yeah, I can already tell he's a beautiful a pressing CDM. You can really, really get into the opponent's personal space. Good tackle, Delaney. I waited for the perfect moment there. Can he recover pretty fast? Yes, he can, and he can go for the interception. I know I was controlling him there, but I want to see his transition going from left to right, and I want to see his recovery time. And as you clearly can tell, that 99 reaction is coming into play. Little pass there. I'm going to do this over top through ball from a 180 angle, and it is going to be perfectly to Wijnaldum. That pass, I'm telling you, boys, is so overpowered, especially this late into FIFA. Little dummy here, though. Little twists and turns. This is what I mean, man. He feels so good on the ball. And it's not just that. He's really fast as well. Look at his just left stick dribbling. You can tell how close he keeps the ball to his feet. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's nice. Little twists and turns. I like I'm going to cut in. Or oh, referee, saw him out, please. Thank you. I thought, I thought to myself, ref, he just went straight through the back of me. And the thing is with Delaney is that, yeah, he's got a five-star weak foot. He's going to pass and shoot with either foot. But because he has that skill move upgrade, I can actually do my little standing scoop turn, that, scoop turn that I usually do. But let's go. Let's see if he can score this penalty. I know penalties is the majority of the time is just on me. But at the same time, I am going to actually... I'm going to aim at top bins this time. I usually aim at top bins and fake it. But it is going to be a green and it is going to be top bins and it is going to be pin point. A little crossbar down, keeper has no chance. His recovery time, I've never seen anything like it. I really haven't. Because he's got the pace, but it's not just the pace that comes into play. It's also the aggression. Like, when I'm pressing the player, he re like he kind of makes my opponent do a lot of mistakes because how fast he gets there, my opponent's obviously going to panic. But at the same time, if I commit one way a bit too far, little Burba's been here. Bye-bye, Pogba. Let's go, let's go. Little fake shot around the corner. No, if I could actually get that ball roll around the corner there, 100% that's a goal. But yeah, as I was saying, I press my opponent into a lot of mistakes. And once they do that, I can obviously commit. Now, once I commit, if I do not get the ball, Delaney is fast enough to recover. Make a run, James. Don't worry, this is Delaney we're talking about. He'll literally put it on a plate for you just like that. A perfect pass and time to perfection. That's an over the top through ball. That could literally put me straight through on goal. And it pretty much has, but at the same time, it went a bit too out wide. But that's my fault. But what a pass from Delaney. Look at his recovery, though. If you actually go back and look at the minimap there, you will realise that he instantly, instantly got out. It got into position. I don't know why he's not blowing a whistle. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Either way, he got straight into position. So he made that pass. And then he ran from where he made the pass all the way into a CDM position just to give me a passing option. That's what I need for my CDMs when going forward. Nice, really good interception. That's that interception reach coming into play because that ball was actually behind him. And I don't believe a 5 for 8, 5 for 9 player would have got that. So we have got a free kick. We are going to take it with Delaney, as I did promise. He has got 93 free kick accuracy. He's got decent shot power, obviously. But at the same time, 28 yards. I think it's a bit far. It is going to be a yellow, so it's not even going to be a timed green. And I believe Courtois nearly ran into his own net. Summer Heat Delaney versus Summer Heat Delaney. They are go putting in a better tackle than he is dribbling. Now, my opponent isn't the greatest at left stick dribbling. And that is why I don't believe he got around me. But at the same time, Delaney's standing tackling is unbelievable. I never, honestly, I've never felt someone that is a CDM to feel this good. Like, this can low-key be very overpowered. Like, look at this. Little fake shot around the corner. Little ball roll in. I like I'm going to cut back. Double way across goal to Firmino. Wow. Okay, we eventually got the goal. I was about to sit there for a second. And I was like, Firmino, you're my striker right now. And you're missing stuff like that. You might have to go straight into an SBC, but he did end up scoring it, so I'm going to relax a little bit. Either way, do you see the run of Delaney? Do you see how comfortable I'm starting to feel with him? He is honestly amazing on the ball. How close he keeps the ball to his feet, how he just allows me to do this beautiful left stick dribble dribbling, and the fact that he can do these fake shots around the corners is so overpowered for a CDM. A little press with Delaney, not too much though, not too much. Look at a recovery, by the way. 
Oh, we actually got turned there. You're not going to turn me once again. Listen, once you turn Delaney, you have to commit. Because you're not going to go back and you're not going to turn him again. Because trust me, his standing tackling is way, way too good for that. But either way, he did actually send me. But do you see the recovery? That is what you guys have to take note. Okay, the recovery. That's one of the most important things in a CDM. The fact that they can recover if you do get sent. So we have got another free kick here and we are going to try again. This time, I'm hoping he, I can actually green time it. This is more scorable, by the way. Like 20, what was it? 28 yards out? 29? 26? Eh, it's near enough there. Let's say that. It is going to be to Oh my God, I did not know he was going to do the outside foot shot. All right, let's not talk about it. So it is time to review him. 94 Delaney. They honestly gave this card one of the best stats I've ever seen in any FIFA. This card is unbelievable. I really cannot believe how good it is. Two games played, one goal, one assist. And yes, for the first time in a very long time, I believe, we didn't actually get a yellow card with a CDM. We tend to, we tend to because I go for a lot of slide tackles. But either way, he is outrageously good at everything, okay? When it comes down to pace, amazing. Passing, amazing. Dribbling, amazing. Defending, amazing. Physical. He doesn't get into a lot of contact-to-contact -contact situations. That is something I did notice. But when I did get into those, oh my god. <laughs> the guy will pretty much be on the floor. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Now, is he worth it? I believe he's currently going for around 150k. 100%. 150k for a CDM that I could arguably say... It's better than every single CDM team of the season. Honest, I'm going to be honest with you guys. He's up there. He's definitely, definitely up there. Now, who would I compare him to? He reminds me a lot of like team of season De Bruyne. He honestly does simply because he can do both. He can do the defending aspect and he can do the attacking aspect. He can make the he can make runs, he can he can run with the ball, he can dribble really well, but at the same time, he can tackle at a top top tier level and that's why he reminds me so much of kevin de bruyne even though i've got the 99 de bruyne where is he there you go he's sitting on the bench this 99 de bruyne ridiculous we all know it is right and it's exactly the same he's got a four star skill moves he's got a five star weak foot he's an inch taller than de bruyne but he can do pretty much the same thing so you're pretty much getting a bundesliga team of the season 99 kevin de bruyne for 150k that if that doesn't say this card is outrageous, I don't know what can. Now, the five-star weak foot, the fact that you can pass with both feet is unbelievable. The fact that you can do the little burb spins and sweat as well in the CDM position is just out of this world. It really is. Pace-wise, I am going to give his pace a 9 point... No, no, no. I'll give him a 9 out of 10. It wasn't top tier. It wasn't. It was really, really fast. That is something I can say it was. But it wasn't, you know... Adama's level it wasn't Daniel James level even though they're wingers and he's a CDM he still wasn't up there one of the fastest players I have seen in this game so I am going to give him a 9 out of 10 when it comes down to pace shooting wise though he had a pretty decent shot on him he had a pretty decent shot on him but the only goal we did score was a penalty and I am going to give him an 8 out of 10 for shooting passing 10 out of 10 this guy can pass just as good as that team with season De Bruyne just as good as that flashback Modric that's how good he is at passing. Dribbling wise, I am going to give his dribbling a 10 out of 10 as well. This card, hands down, is one of the best CDMs on the ball I've ever seen in any FIFA. He's better, he's better, he feels better than Hullet on the ball. He feels much better than Vieira on the ball. All these top tier CDMs, he feels better than the ball on the ball than those. 100%. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for dribbling. Defending stats, 10 out of 10. I don't really have to say much, do I? He's an absolute beast when it comes down to interceptions, defensive awareness, standing tackling, sliding tackling. You guys seen it. I don't really need to talk about it. Physical wise, it was insane, but I would love him if he had that, uh, what do you call it, bulky body type. If he had the bulky body type, he'll get into way more contact to contact situations. Like people, I don't know, like Suzuko, that he has pretty much a muscular body type in game and he gets into those situations quite a lot and he can outbody the player. But with Delaney, he doesn't get into those occasions. But when he does, yeah, you best believe the guy's on the floor. You best believe it. So I am going to give him a 10 out of 10 for physicals. But an overall rating out of 10, 10 out of 10. No doubt. As I said, man, this card is one of the best CDMs I've ever seen in any FIFA. If you guys don't get this card, you are missing out. Trust me. You are missing out on a card that could honestly push you to the next level. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.